Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay, and today I have the 2023 Polygon Siskiyou T6e trail rated e-bike. So this is gonna be a first impressions ride type video and I just wanted to start off with like what is an e-bike in case you guys are unaware. So an e-bike is basically a battery and motor assisted bicycle or a mountain bike in my case and in, in the case of this bike but they make road bikes now they make just regular rail trail bikes with batteries and motors and stuff and uh, every year they keep getting better and better and better and now the prices have finally trickled down to a reasonable value in my opinion and of course polygon if you guys follow my channel and my mountain bike stuff you know i'm a big fan because the bang for the buck you get with uh, the Polygon bike. So I just wanted to thank Bikes Online for sending me this bike and letting me use it for a while. Now, with that being said, so we got the main controller over here and there's a power button. So I'm just gonna hold down that power button and you can see it turns on. And when that turns on, the screen on that turns on. And that's the time I already set. You can see your battery power. And basically when you go up and down on these things, it changes the mode. So if I go up again, now you'll see it's in trail mode. And if I go up again, Just another sunny day in Southern California. All right, so I got in an eco mode here. And eco mode assists more than I was expecting. So it's pretty, it's actually really easy to pedal when in eco mode. All right, hang on, I'm going past people. Going. All right, so I have it in eco mode here and I have it in almost the hardest gear. So I'm just getting up to speed and I just wanted to see how fast this thing will go in eco mode. Now, mind you, I'm just using one hand All right, so about 18 miles an hour with, I don't know, a little bit of effort. I just switched it to trail mode. So in trail mode, with pretty minimal effort, uh, I was able to get up to 20 miles an hour. So in eco, it was about 17 miles an hour with the same amount of effort. This thing is incredible. The assist modes are just ridiculous. Honestly, first impressions, it feels like you're cheating. It's a game changer. It's a game changer is really all there is to it. All right, so you can see there it's in trail mode. Now watch this. Boost mode. Oh yeah. Let's see what can happen in boost mode, shall we? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm literally pedaling at like 10% effort. And this thing is just accelerating at an alarming rate. Boost mode's ridiculous. That's a really nice view over here. So I just tested the brakes. They work great, even though this bike is quite a bit heavier than my T8. The larger rotors help and this bike stops fast. So that's good. Shouldn't have any problems going downhill with it. Uh, looks like the battery went down one tick so far. I've just been riding in boost mode here. All right, guys, I'm about to head back here and uh, we'll wrap up this first impressions video. So one other thought I had on the way back is the grips. I don't really like these grips. I'm gonna put my Ergons, can't remember what the model number is, um, but they have that little extra pad. I'll show you a picture of it on my T8. It has like that little extra pad for your the palm of your hand and um, it, they're also more cushiony so you just have more dampening um, with that being said these grips aren't bad by any means they feel pretty good but 
I just like that extra hand uh, for my palm, you know. The pedals are pretty good. I don't really have any problem with the pedals uh, so far. So I was gonna switch them out originally, but they seem to be working fine. So I think I'm just gonna leave them. The only other thing I have to do is adjust the seat height. It just needs to go up like another half an inch maybe. It's really close, but. So is it cheating? Does it feel like cheating? Yeah, it does. It does feel like cheating. I mean, if you're coming from a regular mountain bike, it absolutely feels like you're cheating. I can understand, you know, it's obviously you have to be an incredible fitness to ride a mountain bike effectively through the woods, up and down, you know, it, the cardio uh, you have to have in order to do that for an extended period of time is a lot. So people that are in really good shape definitely get a little upset at the e-bikes flying past them up the hill. I can understand and it's like, you know, cheater, whatever. But yeah, it, it does feel like you're cheating. I, I'm just, it is what it is. I, I really don't care because I'm just out there to have as most fun as possible in the amount of time I have. So if I can get double the runs in, I'm totally cool with that. And I don't really care if people consider it cheating. I'm over it at this point in my life. I just want to have as much fun as possible. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it onto the trail and I'm going to actually do some hardcore mountain biking with it. Uh, climbs, downhills, jumps, things like that. And uh, we'll see what this beast can do. And please stay tuned because in about a month or so, I'll publish the full review on this channel. But please be sure to check out my other channel. I have that linked below and that's like dedicated to like mountain bikes and stuff. All right guys, so if you found this video useful, if you can give me a thumbs up, it would be great and it would be super cool for you to subscribe as well. I'll catch up with you next time. Be safe out there.